my name is Miranda and today I'm here to react to episode 4 of What the Fuck Again. Apologies, I'm not pronouncing that right. Uh, but it's gone Belgium, people, and I am kind of digging this so far. Is that is that a thing people still say, digging it? Um, anyway, yeah, I am. I really like the characters except for Amber. <laughs> and um, I just feel like it's very similar, but they're also adding in scenes. Like, I really like the scene... Um, was it two, epi two episodes ago with Brit when um, Yana and her mom ran into her and she like was kind of nice. So <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this episode pans out. Oh, is this going to turn into a horror movie? No, nope, it's just him. Is he drunk? I'm sorry, what does that mean? Juice? Someone pointed out in the comments that, like, um, Yana's reaction to, like, the, the laughing gas was to show, like, that, like, she's not, like, about drugs. So, like, that'll cause tension with her and Jens, which is, I didn't even pick up on that, so good for you. I think I was just blown away by the, the fact that someone actually had laughing gas on them. <laughs> ugh, I can never... Ugh, ugh, when they reek of cigarettes, it's so gross. You stink of cigarettes, that's why. <laughs> the door wasn't even closed, these children. There is no subtlety here <laughs> with these two. Hey, there's no robbing to interrupt them this time, so go for it, guys. Because they want to actually lock a door. <gasps> Does she have a balcony in her room? That's so pretty. <laughs> that is no nightmare. Oh, interesting. So the nightmare is not about him, her leaving him. It's uh, about him joining this little, about her joining this little group that uh, he told her basically to make friends. It's not like Animal Farm. Oh my gosh, step off. You just called your girlfriend a pig. Excuse you. Okay, well, at least he kind of saved it that way. Don't call her a pig, come on. Hmm, that was an interesting, like, I feel like shot with them going out separate doors separate ways. I feel like it felt like a division, you know? Oh no, it's Amber. Oh no. Yes, because her name is close to Yasmin, who was my favorite Bratz doll growing up. He looks like every single English soccer player I've watched in the Premier League. Beat boys, I can't take it. I don't even know how to pronounce that name. Help, help. Sene? Oh my gosh, that's like, no, that was Seika. I was like, that's like the guy from uh, the Hungary. Carols. He looks like someone too. Oh my gosh, why do all these people look like American actors that I can't place? Also, I always love when like the Nora character isn't there for the intro. Woman. Her face is the Mr. Krabs me. She had a beanie like Ava. I didn't even realize that. Oh, my baby. Rob. He was reasonable to me. She always looks so annoyed by Rob and honestly same. She's 
she is so out of it. She literally was just like, Friday, yeah. And then he literally texted, hey, Friday, this party. And she's like, okay. Backward shot. She's so proud of herself. Aww. Oh, it's a Halloween party, so we're going to see costumes. Yes. <laughs> Girl. No, I don't. Excuse you. You're the one that couldn't pay. Uh, Zoe literally just did that. Thank you, Zoe. <laughs> Her friends are kind of a bad influence right now. That's all she's saying? Girl, you gotta at least give him like a, how about Saturday? <gasps> that would be so cute. Oh my gosh, I hope she does. Uh-oh, these two. Way to be mature about it. They're changing it though, I like it, you know? Yes. Okay, so she is Harley Quinn, uh, not in a way I thought she was gonna be. <laughs> what are these costumes? I have no- okay, so one's a vampire, one's a nurse, I don't know what Yana is at freaking all. It's definitely a choice, all their costumes. <laughs> also, they just got invited to this party two days ago, it takes me a month to plan an outfit that good. He's just didn't even bother trying. <laughs> Ew, there's a hand. Oh my gosh, we're actually getting to see them flirt. And this is like watching monkeys in the wild. I feel like I'm a documentary. Oh, I guess she's a vampire. Okay, I see the pun. So Yasmina is in there, is she? Why didn't she go? Oh my gosh, she looks like freaking Joaquin from uh, Riverdale. <laughs> is he a vampire or a chimney sweeper from uh, Mary Poppins? I can't tell. Ma'am, he's in it. Like, don't... Oh. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that because Yasmina's in there. Someone else had to do it. <laughs> well, what a fun night. I really like that episode. I feel like they changed some stuff. Like, I like that, like, she actually remembered um, the dinner and then he was mad at her for that because I feel like it's already starting to show that, like, like, it's somewhat her fault, but I feel like it's less her fault, you know, now that she actually remembered it and he's still so super mad at her. So I feel like that's showing that, like, there's this imbalance in it and like she can't really ever mess up and ooh, the sun is coming in thank you um she can't ever really mess up or else he just gets completely mad and shuts her out like that like even Zoe was like oh so he likes just shutting out in awkward silences and stuff like that like it just shows I feel like his immaturity and kind of how she like you can see why she's like so like doesn't want to do anything new if like this is this is what he does he's like you still have to put me first basically but uh your friends come second and you come second so even like I feel like little ways with like how she was like no like my mom's here like we can't do this and he was constantly like it'll be fine we'll lock the door blah 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 like he just, like, wouldn't respect her opinion, you know? So, I'm interested to see how, um, I'm sure they're gonna make up next episode. So, we'll see how that goes. Also, I'm wondering why Yasmina wasn't at that party. Because now they have to change it to Luca being the one to throw the drink and get all upset and everything like that. So, it's interesting because I feel like that's what made you realize that Sana did like Vilda. Even though Vilda wasn't that great to her. She defended her, like against the girls that were talking about her. So, now it's like, of course Luca's gonna defend her. Because, like, they were already friends. So, it's kind of, it, I maybe they had to change it like maybe the actress couldn't be in this episode but I feel like it does kind of take away from that friendship in a sense so maybe they'll add something else that'll do 
something similar to that with Yasmina and Amber. Uh, we'll see. So if you have seen this episode, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!